Hey everyone, Scott Cunningham, make a Scotty business. Today we're going to be talking about the DLive blockchain migration to a new blockchain for the third time, originally from Steam to the Lino blockchain, which I've talked a lot about of how I don't even really think it's much of a real blockchain. And that's obviously why they're migrating again, but it was really because they're acquired, but, um, by Tron and, um, and it makes sense that they would switch because again, they couldn't just use Lino because Lino never fully launched and it's garbage and everything that I said was exactly the case. And um, the only people who really disagreed were D live streamers. And um, I mean, the real reason I think that they even bothered to acquire this was just to get PewDiePie's influence because he's an exclusive live streamer on the platform. Uh, by the way, you might notice I'm still a little sick, unfortunately, but um, I still wanted to make videos and I think this is really important to talk about. So, um, first I'll just share my screen and just show you, uh, Justin's tweet here. So, you know, that this is actually the case that they are acquiring this. So you can see starting today, official D live will begin the migration to the Tron blockchain B live, which is their BitTorrent live streaming platform uh, that was introduced earlier last year will be merged with DLive and they're basically monopolizing the live streaming sort of application slash video live streaming platform on the blockchain. The only other big one is sliver.tv and it's very, very similar. So it's much easier for people to just go to where the allure is. Mind you, the current setup of DLive is extremely, extremely, extremely centralized. And that's the whole problem here. And not only is it very centralized, but I mean, the platform itself is just an awful platform and there's all these terrible aspects to it. And um, I'm just going to go through them again. And ironically, every time I do this, I always say, Wow, it seems like it's actually getting worse every single time. And lo and behold, I go and look. They have all the awful things that they still had before with a new awful thing. You must stream for at least three days and eight hours to be eligible to get paid. But here's what they don't tell you. Get paid is the same as withdrawing your funds. Meaning that even if I put my own money into this platform, and then I want to take my money back. I can't unless I'm a streamer. So previously it was already like extremely an awful process because you need to have at least 4,250 in your account to, to make a withdrawal, even if you're the one putting the money in. So you bought a thousand or 2000 and you want to take that back. Nope. You got to actually buy 2,250 more to be able to get your money back. Then you have to get your email address uh, verified, which isn't that bad. But then you have to upload your government ID just to get your money back. And you have to be 16 years old. So a 14 year old can easily acquire this and buy this. But then if they want to get their money back, well, sorry, you can't. Oh, and by the way, now a new little restriction that they threw in is that you also can only take your money back if you're a creator. The wording makes it sound like it's only for... Um, people who are earning money and that's why they have all these, you know, ridiculous restrictions, but really it's just anyone getting their money at all. The reason that this is so egregious is because it flies in the very face of cryptocurrency and blockchain. If you don't have full access and control of your money and anyone with any amount of lemons or lino points doesn't have full control or access to those that crypto. And it's not even really crypto because again, uh, their, their blockchain didn't really ever launch. Nothing is actually on the blockchain. It, it, there's no like legitimate white paper. It's, it's very, very sketchy. I think now that they're finally going to move over to the Tron blockchain, um, it's going to at least be legitimate, but I don't think they're actually going to change their model because Tron, like Justin's probably looking at this and going like, oh my God, do people not care how centralized this is? This is going to be such easy money. Oh my gosh, I'm just going to buy this. PewDiePie is exclusively live streaming here. This is just an easy cash grab. Probably bought it for a very, very small amount for what it's actually worth. 
And it should be worth nothing because the people who actually understand blockchain and crypto should clearly see that this is a bogus platform. The only reason that a lot of people are using this is just because of PewDiePie. It's people who don't know about blockchain, don't know about crypto, or don't care to know. And they're on using all this with all these crazy restrictions because realistically it is better than Twitch for a lot of the different things like not having platform cuts and various other things. Uh, it does offer a great alternative to Twitch, but it isn't a good blockchain alternative to anything because it just flies in the face of what blockchain is supposed to be. Now, say they they completely rehaul this and they merge be live and they change a bunch of things and they actually make it more decentralized. Like for example, you can't buy Lionel points on any exchange. They just control the price arbitrarily. There's just so many different reasons as to why it is awful and they abandon the steam community and they're probably going to, I don't know what they're going to end up doing with the current community that is there but it's all going to be overtaken by Tron. And again, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe Tron will actually decentralize it and uh, and fix it. But I don't think they're doing this because they're trying to save DLive from centralization. I think they're just capitalizing on what's already there. And I actually don't think they'll change anything. So this is more of a public service announcement to let you know what you're getting yourself mixed up in. Because, you know, it's not like something that you buy and hold old because they might arbitrarily change the price and then you get screwed plus you have to be uh, a creator and actually a streamer to be able to benefit from this at all so i'm sure anyone who's going to be upset with this video is going to be a d live streamer or maybe just has so much faith in tron that are that they're mad that i'm suggesting that tron is uh taking advantage of a very centralized application and very misleading to say the least so here again some of the bullet points it's extremely centralized. Um, you can't get your money back without full KYC. You have to be 16 or older with a minimum withdrawal of, let me edit that, 4,250. And they control the price, right? It's censorship prone. They've banned many people, including Alex Jones. So it's not, you know, anti-censorship. It's not, it, it, again, all the things that blockchain and crypto sort of represent and stand for, it flies in the face of all of them. Uh, nothing really registers to the blockchain. Uh, they previously had staking requirements for users. So uh, the reason why this matters is because originally they had staking requirements for creators to be able to verify and they might still have this. I'm not going to bother diving too deep into the platform. But essentially it was that you had to stake a certain amount to be able to be a verified person on the platform. So if you bought 2000, staked it, and then you were able to verify and you're like, yes, I'm verified, but you didn't end up earning any money. Well, then if you weren't able to earn at least 4,250, you couldn't get your money back either. So people are just locking up all this money into DLive and DLive sitting there laughing like, wow, just because they got a verified badge, we got to take a bunch of their money. That's hilarious. And, um, you know, they left the Steam blockchain already and now they're potentially, well, they're leaving the, the Lino blockchain, but I don't know about the community there, but they did abandon the Steam community and left a very sour taste in everyone's mouth in the entire platform. And then again, the new restriction of you must stream for at least three days and eight hours worth to be able to even get your funds back. Again, all the wording suggests that it's for being paid it's synonymous with just withdrawing your own funds that you might have uh, deposited in there yourself. A hilarious argument I heard from someone was, I can't believe you're mad that you can't get your money back. You should just be donating that to other people who cares about $20. It's not the contextual, like actual money that I'm worried about. It's the fact that who trusts a blockchain platform where you don't have full control and access to your own funds? should be obvious like that's concerning and um yeah i mean this is a short video again i'm pretty sick too so uh the, the the main question to really ask yourself is is tron going to fix this or are they just capitalizing on you know buying up uh pewdiepie's influence and this platform that surprisingly has so many people buying in and giving away their money completely under the guise that it's some decentralized blockchain platform when really it's about as centralized as you could possibly get so 
You guys let me know. What do you think? Is uh is is D Live going to be saved by Tron or are they just capitalizing on on what they've got available? We'll probably see very soon. I can't remember exactly when. Oh, here we go. January 15th. So we're going to know in in like 11 days. So we'll see. And um I just hope that you guys take this this whole thing with a grain of salt because you know Tron might save it. Or they might just continue doing with what they're doing. And I think it's more likely that they're really just capitalizing on the community and PewDiePie. And they're really just going to continue with minimalistic changes. I don't actually think that they're going to rehaul the whole thing and make it so decentralized. I don't think they were really concerned about that when they bought it. I think they were buying it because they liked what they were doing, not because they wanted to change all of it. So again, you let me know what you guys think. I think... I mean, it's it's ridiculous how many videos I have to make on D Live, but I think it's just so important because so many people are going to get like potentially scammed, in my opinion, um, and um, misled. So I'm just looking out for you guys. Let me know what you think, though. Uh, is this a good thing or is this a bad thing? What's going on with D Live and Tron? Uh, I'm Scott Cunningham, make a Scotty business. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, keep on keeping on. Cheers.